Hello, Rabbit Razors. This is Dave here from Rabbit Empire, and today I'd like to show you exactly how you can use our Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator to easily store all of your rabbit pedigree data and generate rabbit pedigrees upon demand. First things first. When you first receive the program CD, in most cases you can simply pop it into your computer and click on the setup option that pops up to proceed with installing the program. If for whatever reason it doesn't pop up or you receive an error message, simply go to My Computer, click on the CD, and double click on the setup file to proceed with installation. Installation should only take about a minute, so no worries with regards to time constraints. Once the program successfully installs, the program window will usually pop right up, allowing you to instantly use the software. Now, if no window pops up, simply double click on the Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator icon that should have been added to your desktop. Now, alternatively, you can simply go to Windows, Programs, Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator to load the software up. All right. So now you should be looking at a program menu window with the message Welcome to the Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator on it, which you will see every time you open up the program. Here you can either choose to create a new database or load an existing database. Now since we just installed the program and therefore wouldn't have previously created any databases, I'll just click Create a New Database. On the pop-up window, just enter a name for your database, such as ABC Rabbitry, which I'll be using for demonstration purposes, and then click OK. All right, so now we're looking at the main software interface here, which we will be using to input rabbit pedigree data and generate rabbit pedigrees. To proceed with adding pedigree data into the program that you can later use to generate pedigrees with, simply click on the File menu and then on either the Add Rabbit or Add Litter tab depending upon what you would like to do. Essentially, our program allows you to store and track both the pedigree data for individual rabbits and for an entire litter of rabbits. Now, For demonstration purposes, let me go ahead and first click on the Add Rabbit tab. The Add Rabbit tab is the most essential tab within the program as it allows you to add a rabbit and specify its mother and father in addition to allowing you to control which data will be shown on the generated pedigree. In the first box of the Add Rabbit menu, it is imperative that you specify a name for the rabbit. If you don't have a name for the rabbit, just enter its identification number or ear tag into this box. Now, For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to enter the name Thumper into this box. In the next box, you can enter an ear tag for the rabbit. I'll just input T1 into this box. After specifying an ear tag, select the sex of the entered rabbit from the selector. Since I chose the name Thumper, I'll select male as the sex. Next, you would specify the date of birth of the rabbit that you are entering. Most rabbit breeders that I know will simply estimate this date on rabbits that they don't have a recorded DOB for. For instance, if they knew the rabbit was born in July of 2013 but didn't know the day, they would simply enter July 1st of 2013. Optionally, you can leave out the DOB field on the generated pedigree for a specific rabbit by unchecking the Include DOB box. Next, if you have a registration number for the rabbit from an organization such as ARBA, you can enter that in the Registration Number field. If not, don't worry about it because the majority of rabbits will not be registered. If you have different breeds of rabbits, it is recommended that you enter a breed into the breeding field for record keeping purposes. If you would like the breed of this rabbit displayed on the generated pedigree, you can check the Display Breed box on the bottom of this menu window. Now, By default, this box is left unchecked. Next, you can specify a father and mother for the rabbit. Here, you can select a father and mother using the selector if you already have added them to the program. If not, you can do one of two things. One, leave this field blank and come back to it later after you enter a father and mother into the program. Or two, Use the Add New buttons beside the selector to quickly enter a mother and father into the program. Lastly, you can enter some brief notes for the rabbit using the Notes field. If you wish to have the notes displayed on the created pedigree, you can check the Display Notes box. Once you've completed the menu, simply hit the Submit button to proceed. Alright, so now you can go enter more rabbits into the program if you wish. Or you can proceed directly to generate a rabbit pedigree. The Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator can effectively generate pedigrees for up to five generations, so feel free to add as much pedigree data as you wish into the program. 
Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to generate a rabbit pedigree. To generate a rabbit pedigree, simply go to Generate Pedigree, then Generate Rabbit Pedigree. Next, select the rabbit that you wish to generate a pedigree for from the selection menu. Now, once you complete these steps, you should be looking at a screen with a generated rabbit pedigree. Now, you can use the file menu to either print the pedigree directly, save it to PDF format, or lastly, add a background image. Now, please note, on the Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator CD, you can find some compatible rabbit pedigree templates that you are free to use as background images to improve the overall look of the generated pedigree. Now, once you're finished with the generated pedigree, simply click on the Window X button to go back to the main screen. Now, if you wish to change any of the pedigree data, you can simply use the Edit Rabbits or Litters tab. Now, in addition to keeping track of and generating rabbit pedigrees, our software allows you to generate a program record consisting of all the entered rabbits. Specifically, this means that using our software, you can easily print out a listing of all rabbits with a DOB that falls within a certain specified time frame, and optionally, divide the records between males and females. To generate and print out our records, you can use the Generate Records tab. Before going to generate a record, use the main screen to specify a date range from which the records to generate for. Also, you can choose whether or not to include records that don't have a specified DOB within the generated report by utilizing the checkbox option. For instance, if you wanted to generate a report of all rabbits born within the year 2013, you could set the start date as January 1, 2013, for instance, and the end date as December 31, 2013, and then go to Generate Records, then Generate Reports with All Rabbits. Now, once you've completed these simple steps, a spreadsheet will be generated using Adobe Reader that you can easily save to your computer in PDF format or print out directly. Now, please note, to generate records, you will need to have Adobe Reader on your computer. If you don't already have Adobe Reader, simply Google Adobe Reader and you will find a link there where you can download the latest version of the program free of charge. Lastly, let me talk briefly about backing up your files. Using our Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator, you can easily back up your program files and even import them back into your program with a click of a button. To back up your program files, simply go to File, then Backup, and select a folder location that you wish to back up your files to. Now, personally, I'll use a flash drive to back up my records frequently. However, you can use any method that you wish. To import the program files back into the program, you'll need to go to File, then Import Backup and simply select the folder that contains the backup. It's really that simple. Alright, so that officially wraps up this Easy Rabbit Pedigree Generator tutorial video. If you have any further questions or would like to send us feedback, you can do so via info at rabbitbreeders.us. Repeat, that is info at rabbitbreeders.us. All right, this is Dave here from Rabbit Empire signing off in excitement once again. I hope you all have a great experience using our software. You can additionally find other pieces of software that we sell available via rabbitbreeders.us. Take care and good luck to you all.